Good afternoon, Ali Andriaco, the Director of Marketing here at Countryside YMCA Lebanon. And we are actually in our chapel here at Lebanon. If it's been a while since you've been to the Y, you may remember a time where this was actually our main entrance. So a lot has changed here at the Y. It's a great time to see some of the updates. We got a new instructional pool, new competition pool. They're making some exciting changes in the CSC. Um, so it's a great time to stop by the Y, get a free tour. Uh, but I just want to kind of take a minute to um, introduce you guys to a program that we have here that's not just for members, it's open to the community. Um, we have a traveling through grief community that meets here at the Y. Um, and so I'm joined here with um, Jim and Dick that um, are huge, just started this program, foster this program, and can really speak to what you can expect um, if you were interested in checking out this community. So. Um, I know it kind of started with you guys connecting. You had a loss. Right. Um, you know, you shared a little bit with me about that. Can you tell me a little bit about how you guys kind of started connecting? Well, we were friends, and uh, Jim was friends with my wife, Pat. And uh, he uh, split the uh, memorial service. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave Duman did maybe half of it. Mm -hmm. Jim did half. And uh, so... Um, and, and we were just getting together and talking. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't find a place around here that I really felt like a fit for grief. Mm -hmm. um, Chris Johnson's a wonderful guy, and we both know him really well. Mm -hmm. So we went and said, hey, Chris, we'd like to do this. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I love that. I mean, I think it's one of those things that, unfortunately, loss affects everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so I know you might think, okay, someone who's at a certain age have lost a spouse, but you have people that have lost children, parents, um, all ages, all different types of grief, recent or years ago. Um, so once you guys decided to kind of create that community, what has that community looked like here at the Y? I think one of the main things as we meet together, we do use the material and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna lift that up. Yeah. Uh, there are many good, books out there. Mm -hmm. We have found this to be helpful when I retired 12 years ago. And mm -hmm. before that, I worked at Otterbein and used it mm -hmm. in support of some of the people there mm -hmm. and um, began thinking about what we could use. We met together at a local restaurant and went through some of the chapters, but then we just talked a lot too. Mm -hmm. um, and then we really saw this as a way to create a place where people could come mm -hmm. with confidentiality a sense of caring, mm -hmm. a sense of community. It's not unusual to hear after, we're, into, we're starting our fifth class in January, mm -hmm. uh, to not, it's not unusual to hear people say, you are my people, mm -hmm. you understand me. Yeah. I wanna keep doing this, I'm mm -hmm. gonna keep being with you. And, um, and a number of people have said, I've had a breakthrough. Uh, people who maybe had had a loss 10 years ago mm -hmm. and had just had continued on, but now have had a breakthrough, others, more recent. It seems to be helpful to wait a few months before a person comes in mm. to the class. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I know, again, we, we were talking before and this, there's no quick fix to grief. Right. There's no, no hey, line. seven or quick steps, seven quick steps to this. Um, it's a process. It's a mm -hmm. part of your story. And just being able to say, hey, here's some folks that can walk through it with you. I think that's a really sweet approach. But this does also give some structure that there are some tasks mm -hmm. that are generally helpful for people. Mm -hmm. And people say they understand yeah. the authors. Actually, I'm, I'm now emailing the authors and talking yes. with them yeah. and getting a relationship with them and that's ex expressing appreciation, but also just found out that they have a, a, a manual for us that we could use, although I think we've got it together. Yeah. But. I think we <laughs> After but, three uh, years, we got But made. they have published something that, yes. uh, and so I'm going to order that. And, you know, just want to keep learning how to mm -hmm. care for the people. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I mean, one of the things here at the Y, we really truly believe in um, holistic health, that spirit, mind, and body. And so that really addresses that spirit piece for a lot of folks where, um, you know, they might not be involved in a church or they might not have connections to some of those support groups. Maybe they feel like not a good fit. This is, I think the why is kind of this sweet space where we're more than a gym and swim. We can reach a lot of community. We can be a great neutral meeting space for people. They feel comfortable coming here. Um, and so that's what I love about this program here at the Y is it feels very accessible. The, the timing is interesting because we have one uh, lady who is, she's wonderful. And, uh, but, uh, her husband died 14 years ago mm. and, uh, 
she's now coming to terms with it 14 mm -hmm. years later. There's another uh, person who called me four days after her husband died and uh, she was friends with my wife mm -hmm. and me, but more with my wife. And she said, I don't have anybody to talk to. And I thought, uh, Pat's husband will talk to me. Mm -hmm. And so, so there's a wide range there. And um, what, when people ask me, you know, what's this all about? My main thought is this is a place where uh, people, everyone's different. Mm -hmm. Their circumstances are different, but it's a place where you can be with people who understand. Mm -hmm. And people who haven't gone through this, mm -hmm. they really don't understand. Yeah. They may want to help, mm -hmm. but they don't understand. Yeah. And uh, so, and yeah, I think a lot of our programs here that we see that are kind of part of our community outreach, they have mm -hmm. that sense of community of that. Right. So for, we have a Veterans Connect. Right. There's just a shared right. brotherhood and community with veterans. Um, our Live Strong program for those folks who are impacted by cancer, there's that shared community. So it makes sense. And this is just another one of those kind right. of, we all need community. And so just finding those areas um, just to relate. I'd like to lift up the unique uh, opportunities here at the countryside Why mm -hmm. that there is this openness to this type of uh, endeavor. Mm -hmm. um, this is open to everybody, but along with the mental health perspective mm -hmm. in each chapter, there also is a spiritual perspective mm -hmm. that is offered. And it's not unusual for us to have prayer and to care for people in a spiritual way too. Mm -hmm. And that's open here mm -hmm. at the Y. But also you have this woods back here. We have a walk once yes. a month for people who wanna just have that casual time mm -hmm. of just being out in nature. Mm -hmm. And it's a meditative time. Yeah. Uh, and a, then we just last Thursday had a, uh, a Christmas party, a gathering. The Y is supportive of that. Uh, this is just such an open thing for people. Mm -hmm. the, the, you would say this, I know. There's a lot of people that have come into the grief program that are not Y members mm -hmm. that then join the Y and, yeah. and yeah. the and the and uh, the community at the Y mm -hmm. is as important as the grief community. Mm -hmm. They've they've made friends and they mm -hmm. uh, one fellow says you can walk down the hall at the Y yeah. and people smile at yeah. you yeah. and say hi. Yeah. So absolutely. Well, that's interesting. So I mean, I, I know we kind of are. Um, wanted to also talk to Julie Fennessy in the Stolly Center. Um, we'll head that way here in a minute, but that is a piece is that community here at the Y and like you said, how it can grow. Jim, did you have one more thought? Well, there's a direct quote of some of the individuals that this has saved me. Mm -hmm. This has made right. such a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, loss, uh, loss of community, mm -hmm. uh, with the connections with their loved one and that, that family and mm -hmm. their sort of friends, but this has become their community and it's meant so much for them. Yeah, I love that. And their friends now. Yes. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm so glad that you guys are doing this program. I know you start a new one the first of the year. Um, and so if someone has any Please. questions, I know that they can go to our website. They can get more information. They can right. stop by the Y, get more information at our front desk. And you guys are going to run a couple of these throughout the year. Um, so there's a lot of different opportunities. So if you're not ready at the first of the year, there's other opportunities as the year progresses. Um, but I would love to go ahead and connect with Julie Fennessy and our Stolly Center next. All right, so we have moved from our chapel here at our Countryside Y here in Lebanon to our Stolly Center. Um, what I love about the Stolly Center is as soon as we walked in here today, it just feels like home. It's cozy. It has mm -hmm. the warm wood. It doesn't feel like we're in the Y. It's mm -hmm. like a whole nother space. Oh, we totally are. And I love that. Um, so this is Julie Fennessy, and she's actually the director um, here at Stolly Center. So you just get to hang out and have coffee oh, and do yeah. fun stuff all the time, right? Mm -hmm. I do. Okay. <laughs> I actually, when I tell people about this place, I tell them it's the Disney World of the Y. I do. Because when, so when I took over about seven years ago, mm -hmm. um, I made sure to kind of get a feel for the place, the people before I made any changes. I put a little box up there on the counter and I said, if you have any suggestions, drop them in the box. Yeah. Took them out of the box, thumbtacked them to my wall or the, you know, bulletin board. Yeah. And I made sure to address everything. And they wanted day trips. They wanted to have workshops. They mm -hmm. wanted parties, get togethers, speakers. Mm -hmm. And I've done all that. That's awesome. And more. Yes. So, yeah. I love that. I love that. So before we get into kind of all the things you do here, okay. 
I think this is a great time, not just to join the why, to get fit, to be healthy, but since we're about spirit, mind, body, mm -hmm. this conversation of community keeps coming up mm -hmm. and how we all at every age need community. Mm -hmm. And I think what's so sweet about the Sully Center is it's for ages 50 and up. Yes. But a lot of times you have you have couples coming in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have one. Yeah. I know a lot of people where one one half of that marriage is a homebody. And one wants to get out, and the why is a great way for them to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I love just to see that it, it wherever you are, there's community mm -hmm. here at the why. Mm -hmm. um, and we have some promotions going on right now. Okay. So um, if you want to join the why in January, we do have a pay the day, which basically means you pay the dollar that you join. So if you join January 10th, you pay $10 for your joiner's fee. So that's already a discount. And then all year long, we have financial assistance. So if your household makes under $75,000, um, there's a sliding scale to help with that monthly cost. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some insurance paid options yeah. that um, if you come into the Y, talk to the Welcome Center, they'll tell you what is available through your insurance and what that monthly cost mm -hmm. will look like. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, the Y, I can't afford that. But right. there's so many options. Then they try to make it as easy as they yes. can. So mm -hmm. if you just, if you come into the Welcome Center, we'll figure it out. We want to make sure that you have an opportunity to be a part of this community. Um, so tell me, I know you mentioned the day trips, which I know are my favorite, mm -hmm. but tell me a little bit more about like some of the speakers and I know like wits, that's a cool yes, one too. Yes. That's so a cool workshop. Partnered with the Ohio State University. <laughs> yes. Um, Laura Stanton will come in and she offers all kinds of free workshops and programs for them. Usually brain health, mm -hmm. um, medication, just any kind of, uh, I feel like a really pertinent topic for them and mm -hmm. keeping them um, on their wellness journey. Uh, we, we do do day trips. I try to go on one every month. Um, sometimes we do two a month and mm -hmm. we travel anywhere from Dayton to Cincinnati, uh, anywhere in between. We go to Reds games. We have parties. We have sewing groups. We have bridge and euchre and mahjong and dominoes. And yes. I'm probably going to forget some of them, yes. but um, it, it is a place for them to come grab a cup of free coffee, yes. tea, hot chocolate right now because yes. it's cold. Yes. Uh, sit and yeah. just hang out and make connections and yeah. get to meet people. And it's cool too. Sometimes you come in here and like sometimes people are watching like the Reds game over here yep. and then somebody else is over here and they're just playing games and yep. some people are just visiting and yep. it's like there's all these little pockets of mm -hmm. conversation mm -hmm. and it's not like you're in a hallway out. Like you have a space right. that's meant to settle in and spend the day. Mm -hmm. And I have several that come in and spend the day. Here. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I think what's also really neat about the why and the way the Stolly Center is set up is off of it, there's a small kind of starter fitness mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. which I love that it's not overwhelming. It's not 3,000 square foot and you have right. somebody over here benching 400 right. pounds. It's a great place to just get your heart rate up. Mm -hmm. Then you can come sit in here, take a break, get mm -hmm. some water. Um, we have steam room, sauna, and our, tub. our own pool. pool. Our own pool. And yes. my favorite part about the pool, which we'll show here in a second, is that it has all these beautiful windows. Mm -hmm. So whatever the season is, you get mm -hmm. to see the season. And then outside, that leads to our nature trail, yes. which is awesome. Yes. We even have a fireplace, so maybe it'll be on today. I'm yes. not really sure, but that's also a nice yes. little touch in there. It feels very cozy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you have somebody who they've never really thought about joining the mm -hmm. Y, they've never really thought this was for them, mm -hmm. and you just say, like, just come to the tour. Just come mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. and meet people. Right. Um, what is maybe some feedback you've heard just paraphrase some things people have said to you like oh I would have never came here but oh gosh or, I was surprised oh they're always surprised when they come in here yeah um mostly because certain days of the week it's really busy <laughs> and sometimes that can be a little I don't I want to say overwhelming maybe they didn't expect so many people here yes but when you mentioned the different people that do come you know some that have like the homebody at home but mm -hmm. I've also had people that have lost their spouses and mm -hmm are now finally able to get out because they were caring for somebody who was mm -hmm. ill. And so meeting other people in the mm -hmm. same situation, um, I, they have formed great friendships. Mm -hmm. So I, I love to see that. So, yeah. yeah. No, I love that. Well, thank you so much for Thanks sharing. For yes. yes, thank you. We'll just kind of take a look around and see a little bit yes. here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm excited to talk about, um, we're all moving our monthly registration to mm -hmm. reoccurring. So I'm going to talk to Jacob in the sports oh, okay. area to okay. see about our monthly registration. All right. Hi, I am here with Jacob, our sports director in the mini gym. Um, this is one of the older spaces on our facility and I love seeing kind of like the old logo and you never know what's going on. I've gone in here and seen the daycare doing Zumba, 
pickleball, I've seen table tennis, judo, you name it. This yeah. gym gets used for all of it. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a hidden gem back here, right behind my office. Yeah. And pickleball players found out about it, take yes. the court down there for them. <laughs> judo gets in here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we have our youth basketball practices in here as well. Awesome. And our rec volleyball classes on Monday nights. Awesome. Yeah, I know our pickleball players are really excited for our outdoor multi-sports court that is coming in the spring. So until then, they're just kind of using all the spaces as it gets colder and the parks are all closed. Yes, yes, we are adapting because obviously it's a very growing sport. We're yes. trying to get it to, into our youth as well. Yeah. And uh, any space that we have is, is they're, yeah. they're finding it. So. Yeah, awesome. Well, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about our programs is that for years, the Y has run on kind of these eight week, five week sessions and we're making a big change. And in 2024, we're going to monthly reoccurring. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback from members that sometimes they just feel like they have to always register. They never know when registration is. Is. Um, and so that's something that we're kind of working on to make it very easy that you can just register once and when you're done with the class just fill out a waiver withdrawal form and you're good to go yeah 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 so uh, we're gonna have two separate sessions a school year session and then a summer session and then this school year session starts January 1st mm -hmm. for sports and this is just for our sports classes yes. so our program or our sports league special as flag football yes. uh, basketball baseball that will still run on their own separate schedule which yeah. will be an eight to ten week program okay. but this just makes it easier for people signing up for our classes that mm -hmm. monthly payments is due every month and then if you withdraw by the 20th of the month prior you will uh, be removed from the class and that creates an opening. Yeah no I'm really excited about that I've, we've heard a lot of things um, last past year we tried to test it out with gymnastics we've had a lot of positive feedback um, people were excited that if a class they wanted to join was full they could then join a wait list and so that allows us to know if we need to create another class if we can help move people into those classes a little bit more quickly. I think it's going to be great for new members because it's easier for them to kind of get participated and get started in trying out some of those programs, which we've had some feedback before. Sometimes it's hard to get into some of those swim lessons or some of those yeah. more popular things. Like I know we have golf, uh, rock climbing, a lot of those specialty sports, I know book up really fast. Yes, yep. So then being able to get on a wait list will help get those new members to get to experience yeah. some of those specialty sports. Yeah, and we also did it for our Taekwondo program starting this past August, and mm -hmm. it's gotten great feedback because a lot of those people come in the first of the month and have to re-register. But yes. now, since they did this, they filled out the waiver form. Now they're just good until the end of the year. But now for Taekwondo people, you do have to re-register for 2024. Yes. But that will get you through uh, the month of May. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, I know a lot of times when people think of the Y, they think of the Candy League soccer. They think of those younger kids. But we have basketball and other programs for those 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds as well. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, this January, we are doing our 11 to 12 co-ed basketball league on Tuesday nights. Uh, time permitting, it's probably going to be 6 to 8 p.m. And then we also have our uh, 13 to 15 year old basketball league, which is 8 to 9 p.m. on Tuesday nights, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully downstairs and in the upper gym. Mm -hmm. um, and then also we're looking to do a little open gym for the kids that are for 15 and up who want some gym space yeah. and they're here after school. Yeah. I we hear you. Yeah. Um, and we just want them to have a gym space to uh, play basketball before our youth programs start later in the I evening. love that. I love that. And I think what's also great that I love to hear, I know we all have busy schedules. I love that the Y has kind of like, let's try to make these during the week because a lot of times the weekends are jam packed. And I know it's hard sometimes to have a whole Saturday full of game days. Yep. So I love that your kid can try out a sport, kind of focus on those skills and it still be during the week that's kind of a good way to still leave those weekends open. Yes, yeah, yeah. Obviously, kids have a lot much more to do on the weeks, yeah. and, uh, on the weekends, but in the week weeknights, there's a lot of free time available for mm -hmm. especially those high school kids, and we want them to be able to come to the YMCA. Yes and it's be an open door for them and yeah. um, to just staying out of trouble and then playing, getting active, playing yeah. sports. Yeah, no, I know I grew up here in London. I grew up at the Y and I think that's kind of what we did. I mean, it's like once you're like 15, 16, you just go to the Y. Yeah. Um, but I think it's even cool to see just the changes. It's been a while since I've been that age. So it's cool to see some of them getting involved in programs or getting involved in fitness and seeing them in the CSE. It's really cool to see how our youth have really taken that healthy lifestyle seriously um, I think a lot of positive things have come from the youth kind of getting kind of those habits started 
before potentially they move away, they're on their own, yeah. they're kind of creating those healthy habits here at home. Yeah, yeah, because once you go off to school, off to college, you're on your own and you want to start building that good, those good habits mm -hmm. and, and hopefully you can do that here at the YMCA. Awesome, I love that. So again, we are just, we would love to invite you to the Y. If it's been a while since you've been, come get a free tour. A lot of the building on the outside looks the same, but we've got so many new programs, so many new spaces. Um, we have more updates. I know this hallway is getting an update next week. Um, uh, with some new flooring. So you never know. We're constantly adding and updating to our building to better serve our members. We appreciate your guys' feedback. And like always, you can always stop by our Lebanon, Landon, or Otterbein location or visit us online at countrysideymca.org. Thanks.